so this video is going to be about uh, how to do mass airflow only tuning uh, I already have a video on speed density tuning if you haven't watched that uh, I would highly recommend going over that as well so what you need to do this high rpm disable needs to move up to 4000 rpms if not higher you are going to want to go to fuel go to power enrichment put this at an rpm you're not going to reach temperature control make sure the cat protection is disabled cut off make sure you disable deceleration or clutch fuel cut off this is an automatic so I raise this enable temperature up to a temperature that it cannot reach now by making this 4000 that means anything below 4000 will be 100 percent mass airflow from there you want to save this as a new file save it as math only whatever go to scanner you're going to want to do a math table your math table you can do whichever one you want most people recommend just doing long-term fuel trims i do long-term fuel trim plus short-term fuel trim um, until it is close to accurate and then from there i work off of only long term down here you want to have only one column mass airflow sen frequency sensor in Hertz and then all this information here is going to be in your tune right here right click column access copy labels bring it back to the scanner put it in there um, you know you can make all this stuff right around how you want um, You know, high value, low value, whatever, okay. I'm going to save this, all my graphs here again. Um, and then from there, you're going to drive around. You want to do some idle, and then a lot of driving between two and 4,000 RPMs. And then you do not want to go over 50% throttle. And you can see that this data right here um, is from the last... I guess the last log I did driving around you can see where it's adding fuel and where it's taking away uh, but what you'll notice is that all of these numbers besides one are between you know negative three and positive three and that's what you want um, now you prefer to have it where it's green here where it's taking away fuel you'd rather be a little bit rich than a little bit lean now when you're done tuning and you're happy with how it is you can go back and put all the rest of this stuff back to stock uh, you know put this back down to where it was put your power enrichment back to where you had it um, you know um, put this back to where you had it uh, and then from there um, it is going to use a predicted air mass which or a blended air mass which it blends the speed density and the map together um, if you want to only use math, then this needs to be up higher than an RPM where you're going to go. Uh, but I highly recommend doing volumetric efficiency and mass airflow and utilizing both of them. Um, you can do math only, you can do speed density only. Both work great, but they both work better together.